So, the bonnet fester is uh, on Big O right now, lying through her teeth. She think if you block someone, they can't watch the show. She think if her show gets shut down, somebody flagged her. You know what I'm saying? But your behavior makes Big O shut you down. But anyway, she over there lying. She keeps saying we brought her exes up on the panel. Her lies that she told to her exes and about her exes made them themselves volunteer and come on the panel. How can you bring somebody on the panel? How do you do it physically? What are you doing? It Spiritually? How do you grab somebody through the internet and bring them somewhere? That's her problem. You cannot tell another adult what to do. All adults are re- responsible for their own behavior. You cannot tell. Now, she listens to gossip. She says she don't watch the video. So that means people can manipulate her. They can send her snippets. They can tell her what they heard, and she believes it. When she says she don't watch the videos, I believe her. That's why she's been looking stupid for three years, because she don't watch the videos. And so when she talks, everybody's scratching their heads like, what is she talking about? You cannot look at a title and a picture and think you know what's in the video. You got to actually watch the video you see so every time she says somebody brought her ex up or this or that or somebody told them a lie no you sound stupid because none of her exes said anything bad about her they came online because she lied to them saying they attacking my son they want to kill my son etc 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 they knew you longer than us so we don't have to tell them anything they already know what page you on? They already know about you. They don't got to tell us nothing. When they come up there, they're like, oh, okay. Plus, they smart enough to observe first. They was watching first. Then they decided themselves to get on the panel. And they got donations for their time. So you need to learn how to be nice, Bonnet Uncle Fester, and how to be cordial, and have some decorum. I Check it out. I never said anything to my son's father about. The man you brought up there, I don't know who that is. Never met him. I'm not going to get into all of that, the semantics of it all. But I don't know how my son's father would feel about that, if he knew that. Never told him. Never told him how my son was affected by what he did. So at the end of the day, just because he did what he did, it doesn't mean I have to. My son has the right to choose if he wants to be a part of his son's life, whether no matter how I feel about it, no matter how my sister, my mom, nobody, regardless of how we feel about it. It's about how he feels about it. There are a lot of things I could tell right now that I could that could come out my mouth and say that will blow your mind. But I'm not gonna do that. Because that isn't that isn't the right thing to do. Two wrongs don't make a right. And we still have a child, and I'm not hurting my child like that. I don't want my child to see the worst in him through me. I don't want my child to hate me. That is the reason I never did it. I always left the door open. Because I told my mom and them that I said, by you hating him for the way that he abandoned me and my son the way he did, y'all got no idea what this man has done to my family. None. And my parents still haven't got an apology for that. But that's another story. Now, I can sit up here and bring all that up. But what for? What for? It ain't worth that. At the end of the day, we have a child that didn't ask to be here. But he's here 24 years later. Neither one of us were planned to have him. It wasn't like... We were every the condom got stuck in me. I got pregnant. That's it. 
I found him autistic when he was a year and a half. His father walked out when he found that I was pregnant. He was another woman when I was in when I was in the living room. So at the end of the day, I'm over it. I have no feelings for my son's father to the point I hate him, love him, nothing. I have no feelings for him. So whatever he does, just like when it, when I found that he was married, I didn't care. That's him. I don't have any feelings for him to care either way. I don't care if he's here or whether he's not, to be honest. I raised that child. Me and my family. So at the end of the day, I don't care what he come out of his mouth and say. My family and I know what the truth is. And I don't and I don't have to get on, on a platform to discuss that either. My life is mine. This is the third story she told about her pregnancy and how she got pregnant. This is the third story. The story has changed three times. Okay? So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, this is the third story. I'm not even going to refresh your memory because she's going to deny all of this. This is the third story telling her man's business. And, I mean, her ex. And, you know, she said, all my exes are married. Hmm. That's interesting. All your exes are married and you're not married? That says a lot. And then she said that her, their, when they got on the panel, their, ex, their exes were sitting next to him so they couldn't really talk. And so that's why they were talking bad about her because they had to talk bad about her while their exes were sitting next to them. How does she know that? See, she makes the same mistake in real life and with other things. She's crazy.